is going on with the Harijan Panchayat Committee. We are demanding 10 acres of land, 200 square meters per family, which is equivalent to uh, 2,000 square feet per household. If you look in around Shillong and even uh, in other parts of the state, people are living in a very small space. They don't have space. People who live in a rented house, there are some three to four people are, are living in a house where there are only two or three rooms. If you look at those people who have their own plot of land also, that plot of land might measure up to 1,000 square feet. And they are inst uh, they instead are demanding what is, uh, you know, uh, unacceptable. They are demanding uh, around 2,000 square feet per family. That is highly unacceptable. Why are they demanding like that? They are making a mockery of the government and of the state and the entire state as a whole. Had they been in, in staying illegally in Punjab, I think they would have been evicted since day one. But here the government is very lenient. The people are also very lenient. Yes, there are government servants who are sitting there. They can be shifted. And if the department decide that they should shift their residence to another place, they should comply to that. The locals do that. They comply to that. So they, the government servants there are settling there in Temetor also, they should comply to the uh, department's procedure. Whereas those who are settling illegally, they are illegal, so they should be evicted. Eviction of illegal settlers is, is happening all over India. If you look even in Assam, even in Chandigarh, everywhere in India, illegal settlers are being evicted. Here in Meghalaya also, if you look at vendors, hawkers, they, they are being evicted. But it doesn't mean that they will come and demand a pay. You build a shop for us. You bear the expenditure, you give us a plot of land where we can sell our waste. Nobody do that. Nobody do that in the entire world. But they are demanding that. You know, like in a Kasi term, we have that Pung Khadlu. The one that is the ancestress, the one that inherits all the ancestral property. They are behaving like that. They are not locals. They are migrants. And some of them are settling illegally. And a message also for those uh, groups or organizations who came from all over the world or from other parts of India that they interfere with the affairs of the state. My mes our message to them is that if they are so much concerned about these people, then please take them back to their places from where they came. Give them a plot of land, give them 2,000 square feet or 3,000 square feet that is up to them. Build their houses, but they should do that outside the map of Meghalaya. If they do that, we would be very highly pre appreciative. Both the state and central government yeah. is the duty bound of the state government and this. Both the various departments to take care of all this as just people. So the case you should make very clear to, to the government, don't entertain them. Go accordingly to the wills and the demands of people because this is a long pending demands. And we, we expect that the government should fulfill this long pending issue as soon as possible. With regard to this illegal sutra, I think there's no need to talk with that. It's the duty of the government how to deal with this illegal sutra. We have, when we talk about this, uh, uh, so there's uh, people who have worked with the state government. I think it's, it's, it is the duty of the government and the people who have worked with the government to obey the rules that the government have already directed. So we expect that the government should <coughs> make it very clear. One thing, if they are government servants, if they are settling there on behalf of the government, then why they are not ready to be relocated into different quarters provided by the government? Now suppose if uh, uh, government staffs, government servants working in secretariat, they can also come out and protest in the street, give us 2,000 square feet, give us a huge plot of land. They can also do that. Don't you think that is uh, an, uh, their demand is unjustified? It is unacceptable. If they are illegal settlers, then they should, the government should evict them.